Hey, 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 friends. Welcome back to Level Up with Lori, the podcast. You guys, so incredibly excited that you're here, excited that you're tuning in wherever you're either listening or watching from, whether it's actually on a podcast, maybe you linked up from my email, maybe you're over on my YouTube. Honestly, I'm just trying to get these trainings, these connection points into as many places as possible. So send me a message and let me know how you love listening to them most. Let me know um, the best way that you love to dig into this content. And furthermore, let me know the kinds of content you want to hear um, on the podcast, because it's really important to me that I'm creating content that's of value to you, right? This is kind of the world in which I can offer content for free, which has always been a really big vision of mine, being able to serve women in network marketing at various stages of their business growth, right? In the beginning or, and when you're just like, oh my gosh, give me all the things, tell me all the things I want to learn it all, but you don't maybe necessarily feel like you're in a place yet, yet to invest. I want to serve you with these podcast episodes, with the Level Up community over on Facebook, with my at Lori Irvin on Instagram. And then, you know what, when you're ready to invest and you know you're ready to go all in in your network marketing business, it's the Level Up Academy. It is like my all-in coaching. It is my passion project. It's everything that I've learned in network marketing rolled into one incredible lifetime program. So that is a little bit, but today... We are going to talk about your Facebook profile as a strategy inside your um, social media kind of overall platform. That was really wordy to say, like, let's talk chat about using your personal Facebook profile as a part of your social media strategy. And it's interesting because I think this is a is an area that often goes missed on Facebook or it's done improperly. So I threw up a post in the Level Up community a few days ago, and time is obviously obviously irrelevant here because I pre-record these episodes and I batch create content, time-saving hack for anybody that is wondering. Um, But regardless, I asked, like, if I was to scroll through your personal profile on Facebook, how long would it be before I saw your business or I saw a picture of you. The reason I asked that question is because, and I can't remember who it was or what it was about, and that's kind of irrelevant, but I remember I was looking through the other day somebody's profile because I was like, oh, I want to know what she does. I want to know what company she's with. I want to know a little bit about her, get a vibe, all the deals. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And when you can't find it anywhere, that in and of itself says something. But I think there's a lot of fear around sharing our businesses in public places. And there's a little bit of a fear because of the things that we've been told. And then there's a lot of fear over here at exposing ourselves in this way, right? Putting ourselves out there, feeling like, feeling like we have a business and like we want like, you know what? There's so many hangups around this. And my guess is you could pause this episode right now and write exactly how you feel about putting it out there. You don't want to be too salesy. You don't want to inundate your friends and family. You don't want people to stop following you, all the things. But I also saw another really great quote the other day, and it was the people that are judging you are not your customers anyways, right? Or the people that are ridiculing you and like honestly if you were to really ask yourself like when have you truly received negative feedback because we all have these fears and we all have these hesitations and we all spend a lot of time in our heads but do we really have proof that that would be the outcome and also if that would be the outcome somebody might unfollow you unfriend you somebody might say something negative if that was to happen is that really the end of the world Is that going to be as painful as you're making it to be? Because sometimes we spend so much time up in our heads that like we actually aren't doing the damn thing to begin with, right? So today I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Let's talk about the flip side over here, what I said first, like the fears of the things that we've been told. And a couple of people said this, I've been told that Facebook will shut you down if you use your personal profile as a business. So here's the thing, Facebook wants you to be a human. 
Facebook wants you to be a person. You are not a business. And I've actually seen people um, use their personal profiles as businesses. Like really their name isn't even a person's name. It's a business name. It's only that. And that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking about you creating a brand that's a personal brand and your products and your business being a piece of that brand, but that everything that you do and everything that you are, are also pieces of that brand so that every piece of content you put on your personal profile isn't necessarily like buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, or look at my stuff, look at my stuff, look at my stuff. Um, So I am not here saying set up another profile that's about your business. I actually dislike that strategy immensely. I will rarely like accept a friend request from a business personal Facebook profile. And those are the ones that Facebook will shut down. Now, other than that, the only way Facebook will likely even look at your account, because remember, we are just one tiny little person in a sea of millions, right? On Facebook, billions probably. The only way that they're even going to look twice is if someone starts reporting your content. And the only way people are going to report your content is if they're either assholes or like, I don't even know, it's being construed as spam. I can't even see someone actually, like, even if they're like, oh, like this account is all it is about business. I think that the worst they're going to do is unfriend and like, so be it. See you later. There's a lot of people that I have on Facebook that like, because I felt this way too in the beginning, you guys, I felt like that hurt a little bit. I felt a little bit exposed. The way I got around posting on my personal profile um, was two things. Number one, I just did it, right? And I didn't do it very often, but I would do it when I felt called to do it, when I had something going on, something I wanted to share. Or what I also did was I linked my Instagram account. You'll need a creator account to do that. Um, I linked my Instagram account to my personal Facebook profile, and that made it easier for me just mentally, because I would post on Instagram and almost forget that it went directly to Facebook and I would post valuable content. And I was doing that anyways on Instagram. And then I did the same thing in my stories. And I didn't overthink the fact that these stories of me now sharing my products on Instagram were going directly to Facebook too. I'm not sure for me why I could feel good about the Instagram. And I felt hesitant about the Facebook, but sometimes these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves so that we can get over these hurdles. Because what I can tell you is that there are people on your personal Facebook profile that you are friends with, that you have as contacts that are absolutely interested in your business, but they don't know it exists. Or alternatively, there are people that would make incredible, incredible refers, but you're never giving them a chance to step into those shoes because you're not sharing on there. The other thing that I want to like say is when you go to share on there, please do not lead with the line. I rarely share on here, but the sale is so good or something along those lines. It's almost like we're apologizing for putting that post up there and you do not need to apologize for having a business and working a business and building a business. In fact, it's quite the opposite. They should be thankful that you're sharing products that you love, products that you stand behind and products that you believe in because it connects them to those products. And if you believe in your products, the way that you say that you do, then you want to be that connector between all of these potential customers and your products. And you're not going to get to do that by being apologetic about doing one post, right? Um, So stop apologizing. Stop saying all these little things that like just kind of ease ourselves into it. So the other side of it, like, well, then Lori, like, how do I even begin to post? And I think sometimes what will make you a little bit more comfortable is thinking about it like this. What if you were to use the 70-30 rule for posting on your personal Facebook profile? And that 70-30 rule is that 70% becomes personal content, but it can be part of your brand, and 30% becomes product related. Now, here's the thing. I actually have a lot higher of a percentage because I share a post with a network marketing tip from Lori Irvin Coaching almost every single day. And you want to know where I get more interaction, Facebook or Instagram? It's Facebook. 
It's my personal Facebook profile. And yet I sat in the sidelines so damn scared to scare to share on there for so long, afraid that I might alienate my third cousin who doesn't pay attention to my content anyways, that who if was really interested in my life would just reach out and chat or who will only pay attention to the stuff that I post about my kids anyways. It doesn't matter, right? In fact, I have like... I will get together with people sometimes and I will be amazed at how much they know about my life and my business and the positive things that they have to say about all of that, just simply because they're an observer in my world. And at the end of the day, I am great with that. Right. And I've, and it's not because like I got to a place, it's because I chose to believe that like uh, the way that I use social media is to build a business and build a brand. And it's not to connect with my third cousin's niece's aunt's dog. It's not there for that. There's other ways that I can like have those family relationships in my life. And also they can still exist because part of my brand is sharing my life and sharing my family and sharing all those things. Okay. And so the other piece of your personal profile is also your stories on both Instagram and Facebook. And this is where I want you to lean in heavily. So if you're maybe only posting about your business or your products or whatever, a couple times a week, I would love to see you do it a couple times a day in time, your in, inside your stories. And like, whenever I talk about these numbers, people always want to smack me a little bit, but then when they start to realize, and I start to teach them about content strategy and like how easy this can actually be, um, inside your everyday life, it's, they start to be like, oh, okay. I was making it bigger than it necessarily needed to be. For instance, like a lot of times what's going in your stories, it's not like you need to educate them on the whole thing. All you're really trying to do is start a conversation. So if someone sees you, for instance, I take collagen every single day. So a lot of the days I share myself doing the shot. Sometimes I talk about the benefits of the shot. Sometimes I talk about how you can get the shots. Sometimes I just put some fun music on there and do the shot, right? And I don't talk about it. But the repetition of people seeing it on there all the time sparks conversation. However, if I was to be like, ooh, I don't want to inundate people. I don't want to like have them leave me because they don't want to see me do my daily collagen shot. Like, and I only did it one to two times a week. Can you imagine the like drop off of the number of the people that would actually see that happen on a weekly basis? People may go weeks before they ever tune into that specific story inside of my stories and see me doing the shot. And the repetition isn't there. So the conversation is never started. Right. Um, but the simple fact that I have like I show up in there a bunch of times a day with lifestyle content means that I get to share that shot in whatever fun way that I want. And also, this is your social media. This is all about you. This is your stage. You're the star. You get to share whatever you want. You get to start stop thinking about what everyone else is thinking. And the truth is when we analyze what other people are thinking, all we're really doing is bringing our own fears out to the surface and pretending like there's proof behind those fears. So for instance, um, a gal on my team last week, she um, is integrating two different products into her overall brand, meaning she started up with this new company and she's weaving it into the company that she's been doing for years. Um, and she kind of connected with me in a little bit of a panic. Like there's a couple of people that left my group. Um, I think it's because I've been posting more about this second product and like, maybe I should not do that. Maybe she should like kind of dome down the content. Like maybe this is impacting it negatively. None of these things were truths. The only thing that is truth is something that can be like science scientifically proven that is truth for absolutely everything. And the truth is there's not a lot of truth out there, right? Um, the truth is the sky or the, the, the world is round. Um, and I can't think of any other truths right now, but you know what I mean, right? Like, but because she was spinning on what she believed could be the truth of the reason behind these people leaving, it was going to impact not only her energy, but her content strategy moving forward, almost reaffirming what she believed to be true, right? 
And the truth is in what I said to her, my piece of advice was like, never know the numbers. Don't pay attention to the numbers. You do you, you get to build whatever you want. And realistically, those were likely people that were probably weren't engaged anyways and weren't shoppers anyways. And so I never know when people come and go from my group. I just assume if you're there, that you want to be there, that you choose to be there. And I just go along my merry way, creating the content, having fun in there and letting that be enough, right? Like not overthinking. Overthinking is never going to serve you well. It's not. It's only going to kill your vibe, make you feel like crap, and slow you down in the long run. So I want you to get in your stories and get on your personal no profile. I know without a shadow of a doubt that your VIP group feels like your safe space and you're like, and you're probably telling yourself, well, people signed up to be in here to hear about these products. So I feel really comfortable sharing about my products, but just as much as I want you to bring the products out to your personal profile and your public Instagram account. I also want you to bring yourself into your VIP group. And so I want these spaces to be really, really similar. I want them to feel really, really similar. I want you to be the same you in every place that you show up, right? And I want you to share the things that you care about sharing in all the places. And I want you to know that that's okay, that you'll find your people and that some people are going to leave. You're not going to be for everyone, but the ones that you are for, they're going to be your ride or dies. They'll buy anything from you if you care about it and you share it in a way that shows, that shares value, right? And takes people on a journey and gives them an experience, right? So bring your products, bring your business unapologetically out into these public places consistently. Let me say that again. Bring your products, bring your business out into these public profiles unapologetically and consistently. And you do this by sharing all of the pieces of your brand, what you're watching, what you're reading, um, how you're exercising, what you're eating, um, what you are bathing with. And like, you'll notice that a lot of like of these products could be weaved into these things. So you guys, that is just my like episode for this week. It's been on my mind. It's come up in a number of places. I know it's something that we are going to dig into inside of the engage your VIP group challenge. If you are not yet signed up for it, level up with Lori.com slash engage 2022. Um, it's already happening. A few, bunch of the trainings have already been done, but you do have time to catch up. There's about another week and a half where you can dig into these trainings totally, totally free. It's likely the last time I will ever offer it for free. Levelupwithlaurie.com slash engage 2022. It is all about building an engaged and thriving VIP group, but I'm absolutely going to be talking about your public profiles as well, because I truly believe that like we need to sometimes get out from um, our comfort zone and how we build our audience in our market is through some of these public profiles. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you're having an incredible week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you love it, please tag me over on Instagram at Lori Irvin Coaching. Take a screenshot of you watching this or listening to this. Let people know your biggest aha moments from this episode. Share with your teams, your business besties. Together, we are so much stronger. Help me spread the word. Help me train more women. Help me have more impact on women in, in network marketing and on their business growth. So mwah, love you. And I will see you inside the next episode.